Hello friends, I hope you have seen the previous two parts of uh, the series of videos on counting triangles in a given figure and uh, you must have learned the two uh, methods or short tricks to calculate how many triangles are there in this type of figure. So I am going to summarize uh, the method and I am going to tell you another short trick for finding the total number of triangles when the base is divided into odd number of parts. So I told you the short trick for even number of parts. Now I will complete the video by telling you the short trick for odd number also. Now see here I will just tell you how many uh, uh, triangles are there at the base. See 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 triangles at the base. So this is 1, 2, 3 and 4 but in this case you find 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 triangles in the base. So whenever you have even number of triangles in the base that is n is 4, in this case n is 5. The formula changes when there are odd number of triangles. I will tell this first which I have already told in part 2. In this case number of triangles will always be equal to n into n plus 2 into 2n plus 1 by 8. So this is the formula I told you and just substitute the value of n here. This is 4 and 4 plus 2 6, 4 to the 8 plus 1 9 and upon 8. Now you can cancel 4 ones, 4 twice, 2 ones, 2 thrice and 9 into 3 27 triangles is the answer for this question. So very very easy method but when it comes to odd number of triangles we have to make a small change in the formula. Now in this case the number of triangles will be calculated by writing the same formula n, n plus 2, 2n plus 1 but after calculating this you have to subtract 1 from this and then divide it by 8. So can you see the difference here? We had only this much formula when the value of n is even but when the value of n is odd, this is odd, then we have to subtract 1 from this quantity and then divide it by 8. So let's apply this formula in a simple 3. Okay, I will take a very small figure first of all. Uh, okay, I need two lines here. So I will have triangles like this. Now see the base has 1, 2 and 3 parts. So in this case n is 3 which is odd. So what happens when n is odd? We have to apply this formula. So I am finding number of triangles for this one. So number of triangles will be equal to just write n n is 3, so 3 into n plus 2, that is 3 plus 2, 5 and then we have 2n plus 1, 2 into n is 3 into 2, 6 plus 1, 7 and you need to subtract 1 from this and then divide it by 8. So we will calculate this very easily now, I think it is not visible, so let me just make some space here, we have minus 1 and now 5 into 3 is 15, 15 into 7 is 1, 0, 5 and minus 1 by 8 which is 1, 0, 4 upon 8. Now if you divide 1, 0, 4 by 8, you are going to get 1 and 3. So 13 triangles are there in this figure. You don't need to count the number of triangles, just apply the formula and get to the answer easily. So let's apply the formula here now. So we have n as 5 here, so 5 n plus 2 is 7, so 5 into 2, 10 plus 1, 11, so 5 into 7 into 11 and you need to subtract 1 from this and divide it by 8. So what will you get on multiplying these? So this is 7, 5 is 35, 35 into 11 is 350 plus 35, 385, so minus 1 is 384, so you need to divide that by 8, so 8 fours are 32, so we have 6, 64, so 8 is the 64, so there are 48 triangles in this figure. So for even 
number of triangles on the base you have this formula and for odd number of triangles in the base you have this formula so that completes the number of uh, series of videos on this kind of figure i shall take up a different figure in my next video till then if you like this shortcut do share it with all your friends who are preparing for competitions and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos